I recorded more than 100 podcast episodes using nothing more than a Chromebook. Let's explore the best web-based tools for recording audio and some simple ways you can improve the quality of the audio you record with your Chromebook. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers and students use Google tools in the classroom. There are two very simple audio recording tools that I use a lot, Cloud Audio Recorder and 123apps.com. Both of these websites are 100% free and they don't require an account to use them. They're unbelievably simple. Just press record and start talking. I use these two tools for simple recordings like exit tickets, reflections, and live ad reads for my podcast. I don't edit these recordings. If I mess up, I just record them again. If you plan on using audio recordings in something like Google Slides or Google Classroom, Cloud Audio Recorder is my preferred choice because it offers the ability to automatically upload the recordings directly to Google Drive. This is what my students use when they record audio reflections for their Google Slide portfolios. Now, 123 Apps doesn't offer a direct upload to Drive, but it does offer the ability to crop the beginning and end of your audio clips something that's very helpful to eliminate mouse clicks and awkward pauses. If you need to create short recordings, 123apps.com is a great choice. Now let's talk about improving the audio quality of these recordings. There's two things that you should be doing. First, get a microphone, any type of microphone. While your Chromebook has a built-in webcam mic, it's not very good. It's gonna pick up every sound nearby, keyboard noises, background noises, any type of microphone will be an improvement, even the hands-free mic that came with your iPhone. If you plan on recording on a regular basis, consider picking up an inexpensive microphone set from Amazon. This podcast set from Fafine is less than $70 and has everything you need to create a professional sounding podcast. There's a link in the uh, video description. My second tip is to make sure that you check your microphone settings before you begin recording. This is especially important if you're using an external mic because you need to verify that your Chromebook is using the correct input and that the microphone volume is acceptable. Always do a short test before you get too deep into your project. Click on the time in the bottom right corner of your Chromebook and select the arrow next to the volume slider. This will give you the ability to select the mic input and adjust the microphone volume. Now I've recorded an entire podcast episode only to realize that I was using the wrong mic or that my volume was too low. Learn from my mistake. Check your microphone settings before you begin. Cloud Audio Recorder and 123 apps are fine for short clips, but they aren't designed for long recordings, anything longer than five to 10 minutes, and certainly not Joe Rogan-esque three hour style podcast. For longer recordings, I recommend Zencaster, a great web-based platform for podcasting. I suppose you could call it the Zoom of podcasting. I've tried a lot of different tools, including Zoom, Google Meet, Soundtrap for long audio recordings, but after lots of errors, technical difficulties, I found Zencaster and I could be happier. If you go to the trouble of scheduling a show, recording a conversation with a guest, you wanna be 100% sure the conversation is being recorded without errors, gaps, bandwidth issues. Zencaster takes all the guesswork out of that process. Zencaster is free to use. Your files are saved to your Google Drive account. It works just like Zoom or Google Meet. Start a recording, send a link to your guest, and you're off and running. Now, my third and final recommendation is Soundtrap, a cloud-based audio studio designed for musicians and podcasters. If you're interested in creating music with your Chromebook, Soundtrap is the tool to use. You can connect MIDI instruments, apply vocal effects, create instrument loops with a massive library of effects. Soundtrap is a freemium product. You can create up to four projects for free, after which you'll need to delete one or purchase a premium account. There's also a special education version of Soundtrap for teachers and students. Soundtrap has one more major feature that gives it an advantage over all the other tools that I've mentioned here. It can also edit your audio recordings. Now, this video is only about recording audio. Be sure to check out this other video to learn more about my three favorite tools for editing audio on a Chromebook.